Hi, welcome to another video. I covered Phi 4 a while back, and it was actually very cool to use. At that time, though, it wasn't officially launched, which meant there weren't official weights of the model available. But now, Microsoft has launched the proper model weights that can be used locally, and it is now available on Alama and everywhere. Plus, the model has an MIT license which means it's commercially usable and everything, which is insane. This is the first model that scores this high in benchmarks at this size. And in use, it's even more amazing, and most of the time works super well. It's great at coding as well. Plus, it's so small that you can easily run it on local computers at a reasonable speed. So, I thought I'd tell you guys how you can use this new model locally with Klein and Ader, and do fully private and local AI coding with Phi 4. So, let me tell you how you can make it all work and use it for the best kind of AI coding that you can get locally. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, On Demand. On Demand is an all-in-one ultimate AI operating system that can help you create AI agents and AI automation workflows in literal seconds. You can create a bunch of actionable agents like social media posting agents for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can also build agents for automated trading and anything else you'd want. And it's not just that, because On Demand also has an agent flow builder that allows you to assemble agents, model endpoints, fulfillment prompts, and chat prompts into one cohesive workflow. You can schedule these workflows to execute at custom intervals, like every minute, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or anything like that. You can also make it deliver outputs via email, Slack, or actionable agents. They even have an AI engineer that allows you to build real-world apps with it in seconds. Currently, they are giving out free $150 credits that you can use to try it fully free and get some pretty cool stuff made with it. So, make sure that you check them out and start building some great stuff now. Now, let's get back to the video. First of all, you'll need to install the model locally. There are multiple ways to install it locally. I recommend using Olama as it's super easy to use. So first, we'll need to get Olama installed. You can just get it installed by going to a Llama site, clicking on the download button, choosing your operating system, and getting it installed. Once that's done, just go to the models page, and you'll see the Phi 4 option here. You can just copy the command here, paste it into your terminal, and this will install the model locally. It will take a bit to download and install it, so just wait a bit. Once it's installed, just send a message and check if it works correctly as required. Once you've made sure of that, we can now get it configured accordingly. By the way, you can also run it via APIs through Open Router and others. So, you can do that as well. Anyway, let's get it configured accordingly. So first, let's go to VS Code. Now, make sure that you upgrade Klein to the latest version. Once you've done that, you can just go to Klein, and here go to Settings, and just choose Olama. Here, you'll just need to enter the model name of Phi 4 like this. Once you've done that, you can just hit Save, and now we can just start using it. You can also use the auto-approve features and stuff like that. But for now, let's ask it to make a simple, playable synth keyboard. By the way, I'm sending this prompt on a basic Expo app that I just created. Anyway, let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, it did everything quite well. And that too in an Expo app, which has a bunch of stuff, and is generally a lot harder for LLMs to work with. Anyway, if we run this, then we have the stuff here, which is what was required. If we play this, then this also works pretty well. So, this is pretty great and it's probably one of the first models that is able to do this. Many people would think, why not use Quen 2.5 Coder 32B? Well, you can, but it isn't able to solve this task with Klein and bugs out, whereas this Phi 4 is pretty reliable 
and also two times lower in parameters than that. Now, let me also show you how you can use it with Bolt DIY as well. If you don't have Bolt DIY installed, then just head over to the GitHub repo and get Bolt DIY installed via Docker or locally. Installing via Docker is super easy, but for locally, you'll just need to clone it, then use PNPM install, which will get the required packages installed, and then you'll need to run PNPM run dev, and it will get started. Once all that is done, Bolt will get started. Just open it up, choose Olama as the provider, and you'll see the Phi4 model. Just select it, and you can now start using it quite easily. Remember that the context limit of the model is only 16K, which means you might see some artifacting, especially in this case. But you can see that this works pretty well and is really good, especially considering that you can run it locally. You can also download code, sync code, and everything like that, which makes it really good in use. You can also follow up, and it works well with Bolt, which is pretty great considering it's all local and private as well. So, that's super great. Apart from this, many of you would also want to use Ader. So first of all, make sure that you upgrade Ader to the latest version. First, just get Ader upgraded with this command. Once that's done, just start Ader with Olima as the provider and the model name of Phi4 like this. Once done, you can just hit enter, and now you can start using it. Now, let's ask it to build me a playable synth keyboard as well using HTML, CSS, and JS. Once we send it, you can see that it starts working on it. If we wait a bit, then it's now done, and it did this pretty well. If we try to run this, then this looks pretty good. And if we try to use it, then this also works pretty well. So that's great. That's basically how you can set up everything and use it as well. I think that this Phi 4 model is the best Phi model, and especially the best model under 72B, because you can easily run it locally, and it works really well, and the speed is pretty reasonable. You don't need to have an RTX 4090 or something like that either. You can run it on a computer with about 16 gigs of VRAM that most computers have these days. Even if you use it via an API, then it will still be a lot cheaper as well. This model is probably the best model that you can use locally as of now, as it just balances the model parameters and performance. Obviously, you won't get Sonnet locally, but this is still something that's super good and is great to use locally if you're somewhere you don't have internet. So, that's great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.